Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're doing the jump animations for a character that, been, that, we, that, that, that we have been making for the, for the last few episodes. I'll just go file open and I'll open up my idle animation because it's easiest to make uh, other animations from this. As always I just want to go file save as and save this as low poly human jump. Once I save that I will rename it here to jump. When you're deleting this, make sure you press A to select all the bones and then delete it. And now if we play the animation, nothing happens, so we can... Oops. So when we jump, we just take the uh, the root bone and just lift everything up. That's the easiest way to do it. So you maybe want him to jump this much. That's fine. And now you can take the legs and maybe tuck them in a bit like that maybe make it a bit more random so maybe he's jumping off of his left foot so his right foot goes a bit higher like that and maybe you can take the uh, these uh, pole angles and then maybe just move them apart so his legs are a bit spread for the arms I'll just place them as if he jumped maybe something like this now select everything and press I you can see that if he jumps right now he kind of falls slowly. He's definitely going down too slow. So what we'll do is uh, delete the last keyframe. We'll delete all the last keyframes. And now we just have this animation with five frames. We'll make it six just to be uh, precise. And now we can go down here and set the end frame to six. And now we can loop like that. So this will be the jump. And then we'll create a fall animation. So we first want to export this as low poly human jump makes make sure you click active collection or sorry selected objects and disable this export now we need a fall animation so while he's falling so I'll just go ahead and save this as low poly human falling and rename this to falling all this animation is gonna be is well, obviously him falling so I'll just go to frame 6 select everything copy it paste it to frame uh, one press I All right, so we can maybe add a bit of movement here. So maybe frame three or four we can take the arms and maybe just kind of uh, Move them so they're a bit more random make sure you insert keyframes for that Well, that's a bit too much I guess So what I'll do is I'll just move them very slightly very very slightly So you can barely see it and if he is falling this does kind of make sense we can always make the animation a bit longer, maybe 11 frames. And then put this to like frame 6. I'll just redo that. So now in frame 6, we'll just move the arms a bit and move the legs a bit. And now that looks kind of like he's falling. Once we have that, we can again export this as low poly human falling. And now we need the fall animation, the last frame, so when he touches the ground. So again, we'll have to go file, save as, and this time we'll just call it low poly human fall or fell. I'll call it landing, that makes sense. Right, so the last frame now should be him in the idle animation. Easiest way to do that is by just opening up a new blender window like this and open up the idle save file like that once you open up a new window select everything copy go back to your original uh, window and paste and now press i now he'll go from this position to that and now on the 11th frame he just comes back down he does look like a superhero because he doesn't take any impact but that's fine with me maybe you can add animation for impact Maybe he bends his knees and does a roll or something, but I don't find it necessary, so I'll just keep it like this. I'll just uh, rename this to le oops landing and make sure that it is saved like that. Okay, now I export FBX and click selected objects, uncheck this, and we have landing. Today we made three animation, one for initiating the jump, then we have one for falling, and then we have one for landing. Now we can combine three of these to make any kind of jump animations. Maybe he wants to jump off a cliff, you can do that with this. Maybe he just wants to jump on flat ground, you can do that with this. 
And next time, we're hopefully going to import all of this into Unity. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.